Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. That really helps the video get some views. And also leave a subscribe to the channel if you want to see more daily videos or weekly videos. It depends how uh, my schedule is. And enjoy. Hey guys, R. James at FY here. So I'm going to be showing you guys today uh, two of the best capture cards I think that you can use to record Xbox 360 gameplay and Xbox One gameplay. So I was actually able to finally get the uh, capture card that I record Xbox One footage with to finally work. It was a little tricky hooking up, but I finally was able to get it, like I said, and it works really good. This is what I'm actually recording with right now. It's called a Hop Hog HD PVR. I used both the first one to record Xbox 360 gameplay and the second Hop Hog HD PVR to record Xbox One gameplay. So the Hop Hog HD PVR one I got off eBay for about $130, and it's a really good capture card. It records in uh, really good HD. Some of my newer videos, or some of my older videos, sorry, uh, that I uploaded, they had some problems where it, uh, it kind of like played out of one speaker when I recorded it, so I was able to fix that by uh, moving the volume on the uh, capture card uh, disc that you that you install that you install the capture card. Uh, God, what is it called? The capture card hardware and software in. So it's again called the Hop Hog HD PVR one. It records in uh, 720p up to 720p. The HD PVR two records up to 1080p. So if you had to buy one, honestly, I, I have both. Okay, so uh, if you had to buy one, I would probably recommend buying the HD PVR one for Xbox 360 and PS3 gameplay, and for the Xbox One and PS4, uh, the Hop Hog HD PVR2. Uh, here in a bit, I'm going to be showing you guys what they look like, and I'm going to be showing you like the wires to hook them up with and all that. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail for the HD PVR2. Again, it records in 1080p, and it's a really good recorder if you are looking for uh, like montages and stuff. It comes with really good editing software. With the actual package, I got it from Best Buy for about $190 or so. It's a good deal because it honestly, it works the best. It's just one of the best capture cards I've ever seen. Um, maybe not as good as the Elgato. I'm not sure if you can record PC footage with the HD PVR2. I think you can if you hook it up correctly. I'm going to try doing that soon. But, uh, I, I mean, it's, it's just one of the best capture cards. It's not that expensive, uh... One of the worst capture cards I think I've seen and I've actually had experience with was called a Roxio. They're not that good. They're kind of cheap. They're for like start off YouTubers and stuff. And I started off uh, using my iPod for like two videos. Uh, they're like really old. I deleted them. But uh, yeah, I just recorded it with an iPod. Then I finally was able to get my hands on the HD PVR1, which is what I use still to this day to record my gameplay footage with and it still works good I've had it for about two years now and it's amazing they last for a long time uh, they they record pretty good footage uh, if, if you're able to it, it's a little tricky to hook up at first because if you don't hook it up correctly there's going to be these giant black bars on the side of your screen and it, it's just it, it's really weird to hook up but once you get it in, it, it records amazing footage, and there's I've had no real problems other than the black bars and the uh, the the speaker problem that I had. Those were the main problems that I had. So, if you had to buy one, uh, it would probably I would recommend buying the HD PVR two. I think I said the HD PVR one just a few seconds ago, but I'm changing my mind about that. Now that I think about it, that didn't make a whole lot of sense because you can. Uh, you can record Xbox 360 uh, gameplay with the HD PVR2. It's just a little more difficult to hook up because the HD PVR2 kind of runs off of a uh, like HD type of thing. So it, it's fair. It's a fairly new thing. So you have to have HDMI cords to use the Hop Hog HD PVR2. But for the Hop Hog HD PVR1, all you need are these things called Rocketfish Pro. Uh, adapter cords I think it's it's Rocketfish Pro it's just Rocketfish it might be just Rocketfish I, I don't know uh, but you need that you hook it up to the back of your Xbox and it records amazingly like I said and I'm just gonna say something right now I was not this this is a personal opinion 
I wasn't paid or anything by these people. I'm just showing, I'm telling you guys two of the best uh, recorder capture card devices that you can use that are on the market still for Xbox 360 and Xbox One gameplay, even PS3, but they work better for Xbox. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what they look like in real life, and uh, or as real life as I can get, and yeah, please leave a like and sub, and here you go. Alright guys, so that's what the HD PVR1 looks like. It's a little messy because it's been forever since I've cleaned the thing, but yeah, that's basically it. Those are the rocket fish wires. I might do a video of uh, when, like how to hook it up and stuff. I don't know, I might. So uh, that's the HD PVR1, and that's the HD PVR2. It's a little smaller. That button's the power button, right there. Sorry my hands are not as still as they should be. Those are the HDMI cords right there. Yes, one's a PS3. Uh, that's power. That's the uh, USB port, and that's the power button. All right, so there's the HD PVR2. I'll do a how-to video on how to hook these up soon. But uh, yeah, if you want to see those, leave a like on this video, and thanks.